Okay guys, what's going on? And I wanted to show you this cool little um, LX tube clock I got off of eBay. These things are between $150 and $200 and they're really cool. Although I'm not really a big fan of them. All it is is just a little colored LCD screen that displays pictures of numbers on there. That's what that is if, you, if in case you're wondering. This can display up to 21 different numbers that, come, that you have to download and Connect this to your computer, download it, and, and you can only do one at a time. Though you can't store all 21 in the in the clock itself. If you want to change the digits, you got to change them one one at a time. That's the biggest thing about this I don't like is the fact that you can't just change it to any of the 21 digits, different digits that's on there. They are pretty cool though. Um, these are little one-inch LCD screens that will display pictures. It'll display the numbers. It'll display anything that's that's uh, small enough for it to to uh, bring up on there and uh, as far as electronics go there's not really much to it you got your battery right there and your processors and all that good stuff there and then on the back here you'll see the LX tube logo on there then you got your from left to right your your middle button or mode button there and then the one on each side of it that you go from left to right whenever you're selecting something. And then there's your, your power button there. You can turn this off. So, if, especially if it's in your bedroom, you can turn it off and it won't keep you up with, all night with light on. This is a pretty cool little clock. It's not something I would ever buy again because I'm not really that fond of it. But there's the back of it. There's where your LEDs are. You got an LED over top of each one of those. And you can set the LEDs to uh, change randomly with a rainbow type thing. You can, like I've got here, you can change it to uh, have each tube with a single individual color. Each tube could be set to whatever color you want to. And then you have, where's the bottom? There's nothing on the bottom. And this is run on off of uh, a USB-C cable here. But... The menu here is pretty simple. It's pretty self-explanatory. And if you go in here, you press the middle button, the mode button. You can set the time, set the hours, 12, 24. You can set your styles, RGB on. The light brightness, you can change it from 0 to 100. And then you can set the RGB here for each individual tube. So this has already got two built-in um, digits for the numbers. Let's go through here. So the first one here is your Nixie tube. This is your pink right here. And this is the one here that you upload on your own. This will be the one that you can change from any of the different 21 numbers. And like I said, you can't upload you can't upload all 21 different types of numbers. You have to go in there and select one at a time. And you have to connect this to your computer to do it. There's also some software you have to download to do this as well. But let's go here and say you want to go to the pink you hit that one you hit the mode button and you got your pink and then you go back to mode again go back to set style and then you can switch back to what i did have it on there it's a little um dot matrix type thing and if you like the nixie top the nixie style here you can go back here and you can select the Nixie tube and it'll actually look like a real Nixie tube inside there. This will focus. There we go. And it it has so much um oh what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, detail that it literally looks like a glass Nixie tube. But these things, these little things will come off. And then there's your your little LCD screen. So another thing I don't like about this is these things will fall off really easy so you have to be careful with it because they will break. They are made of glass. But that there is just a short little um, explanation of this thing. Let me go through here with RGB because I want you guys to see how this works. RGB on, light, RGB set. You can have all demo or all same mode, 
single mode, rainbow mode, chasing mode, breath mode, and you can change the speed of it. So let's say, for example, you want to go over here to chasing mode. The colors are going to go through there. They're going to go through the the cycle there. It's hard to see with LEDs with the camera because they just they're so bright and have so much of a sheen to them. But you can see how they're just changing colors there. Okay, so let's go to breeze mode. There you go. So they did get bright and dim, bright and dim, bright and dim. It's a cycle like that. And then over here at the end, you can change the speed of which they do that. So let's see what rainbow is. Okay. Now they're all they're all the same color at the same time, but they they go through the various different colors. <sighs> Of course, there's a calendar I made of my dog back in December. Let's see what single mode is. Okay, single mode is where you actually go in and change each tube itself into its uh, color. So yeah, I can go ahead and change them all to that. And then you go back here. Now, the way you change the colors is it goes from 0 to 250. So it starts from red, or ends at red, starts at white, and goes all the way to red for that. Now there would be something about this that would be really cool if they had in between here is your little uh, colons blinking. They should make, make this a little bit wider and add a couple colons in between these numbers here. That would give it a little bit more coolness to it. But let's go back here to the menu. Let's see. Set hours at 12. Okay. Okay. There we go. Now you got military time. And this thing doesn't weigh too much. It's probably about a pound, maybe two pounds. This mainly because the bottom of it's metal. Well, as I said, it does have battery backup, but one of the things you got to remember this thing, if it stays off for more than eight or nine hours, it's going to drain that battery pretty quick, so you're going to have to replace it. But let's go back here. And hit the power button to hit enter. And you go back to regular time. Install RGB on. And hit that, hit that middle button, the mode button. And it shuts it off. Hit power, and you go back to your main screen. So, that's pretty much how this thing works. You know, if you guys would be interested in one of these things, if you collect stuff like this, it'd be cool. Uh, one day it might be worth something, I don't know. Um, who knows what they're going to come out with next, but it is a pretty cool clock. The other thing you got, you got to struggle to figure out how to use the software. It took me a couple hours to figure out how to do it, but I finally did do it. So, good luck with that. And if you're wondering why I flip the phone around like that, my phone does not have the option to flip the camera like you do with the iPhone. I just can't figure out how to do it. Oh, wait a minute. Let me see what this does. Oh, hey, look at that. I actually did it. Is it still recording? Yeah, it's still recording. Oh, we do have an option now. It must have been in one of the last updates because it didn't able to do that. So anyway, there you go. This is your LX tube clock. Let me shut the lights off here. So we can actually see this thing in the dark. Yeah, still. Yeah, these little LEDs, the LEDs in there, it screws up with the it screws with the camera lens. But this one, this is the coolest one on there, I think, because you can actually see. It looks like you're looking right into a Nixie tube. Alright guys, so any, anyway, if you have any questions or comments about this, let me know. Um, I'll be happy to answer them. Thanks.